that's illegal. Yo, what up, man? So earlier today, I made the biggest mistake. I reposted this song on my Instagram. This is a song called Fast Life by Cool G Rap featuring Nas, Queens Get The Money. I was in college when this song came out. I posed the question to my followers and I was like, where were you guys when this song dropped? I should have never did that. One guy told me he was in preschool. Another one told me he was five years old. What the hell was I thinking? And then I had two other guys jump in talking about they wasn't even born yet. Intro. You should come rolling my sh Yo, what up? My name is Vladimir Riche from ChaseAndRider.com. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to look your best under $1,500. So I started a series back in 2020 where it was men's were on a budget. Like depending on what your budget was, here's what you can get. So the first video was look your best under $750. The second video was look your best under $1,000. That one came out in August of 2020. And I was supposed to keep going. And I don't know what happened. We just never really continued it. But I was just talking to a client where his budget was $1,500. That gave me an idea to just make a video about that. My client is probably not gonna be really happy because here I am giving you the game for free, but he had to pay for it, but it is what it is, man. <laughs> I didn't tell him the information was exclusive. So let's get it, huh? But today's video is really, really special, man. This is the first video that I'm making where I'm actually nervous making it. And you'll see why in a second. I have a really, really big announcement to make in this video. And uh, I think this is something that you guys are really, really going to like. Some of you already know what it is. Some of you already seen it. So I'm kind of nervous about it, but I think it's a good thing. So let me not waste too much time and let's start with the outfit. And by outfit, I mean everything. We're talking about the shoes, the suit, the shirt, the tie, the pocket square, the socks, the suspenders. Yeah, I think we have everything. If you haven't seen the video that I made before, so once again, the first one was look your best under $750. I'll link it here, I'll also include it in the description. And the second one was look your best under $1,000. I will link that one here as well. And you can also check it out in the description. Let's go. So not to beat a dead horse, as I've said it plenty of times, but when it comes to dressing up, the first thing that I always think about are my shoes. So it's only right that we start the countdown with the shoes. So the shoes that I recommend is going to sound a little bit odd because I haven't spoken about them on the channel before. I do have a pair of their shoes that I will be unboxing shortly, but since this video is first, you're going to hear about them now. And this brand is called Yearn Shoemaker out of China. Now, when we're talking about shoes, China has been on a roll. The craftsmanship that's coming out of China is absolutely incredible. I know some people hear China and they think negative as far as being cheap. I don't know where those things come from. Everybody has an iPhone. The iPhones are made in China. It's all about the experience of the people making the shoes. Whether they're in England or whether they're in China, it's how good they are at their craft. So China, like I said, has really been kicking ass with the shoes that have been coming out of that country the past few years. And Yuan Shoemaker is definitely one of the names that you should be familiar with. Number one, their shoes are hand welted and hand lasted. Number two, the outsoles are fully hand stitched. Basically a handmade shoe that retails for $480. Yeah, you heard me right. Hand welted, hand lasted, outsoles are fully hand stitched and they retail under $500. $480 to be exact. If this is not the best value currently in the shoe game, then I don't really know what is. It has to be number one or number two. I talk about other brands that really offer a lot of bang for your buck, but some of the shoes are good year welted. But we're talking about a hand welted shoe for under $500. And even though the shoes cost $480, I would also recommend that you get the lasted shoe tree, which costs $100. So we're talking about $580 for a shoe that's hand welted, hand lasted, soles are hand stitched, and also a lasted shoe trees, $580. If you don't wanna get the shoe trees, that's up to you, but I would highly recommend that you do. But if you don't, you'd be saving yourself $100, although you wouldn't really be doing the shoe any favors. And the model that I recommend is the Reference 583. 
583 is the austerity brogue. The last is the Y05, which is a soft square last. They come with either an E, which is their regular width, and you can also get it in an F, which is a wider width. And the shoe size run anywhere from a 5 UK to a 12 UK. So I will include the link in the description. So once again, you're in Shoemaker is the shoes that I would recommend if your budget was $1,500. Now let's talk about the tie. A tie is really what makes something dressy. Let's say somebody's working and they're in a full suit and they're going out after work and they wanna tone down the formality of the suit. The first thing that they do is take off their tie. And also a tie sits right under your face. So that's what makes a tie so crucial because when you're talking to somebody, you want them to be looking at your face. You don't want them to be looking anywhere else. And the tie is right there. So due to the proximity of the tie to your face, a tie is very, very noticeable. And also when well-dressed guys get together the tie is really what sets us apart and I know I'm a shoe enthusiast but when it comes to well-dressed men having nice shoes is a given because you can't be considered well-dressed if you're not wearing nice shoes so we always have nice shoes on but the tie is really what I look at when I'm amongst other well-dressed men to see how they tie it and just the the tie itself you know what I'm saying so this takes us to this box right here a couple of videos ago, I did tease this box and said that I would be unboxing it shortly. What's crazy about this box is since I started YouTube, people have been asking me, do I have anything tangible that they can buy? And I never did because I didn't really start YouTube to offer anything for sale. I just felt like I had a skill in teaching guys exactly what I know and I was willing to do that. But a crazy thing happened a couple years ago. Mensa from the brand Aklasu, if you're not familiar with them, they are an excellent brand out of Canada that make ties. And then very recently, they started offering socks as well. When Mensa reached out, we were already following each other on Instagram since I'm a big fan of the brand. He also was a fan of what I was doing. And he had asked me, have I considered coming out with my own tie? And it's wild, man, because it's something that definitely really crossed my mind. I started to think more and more about it as more and more people were asking me. So we went over a few ideas and I knew exactly what I wanted. I just wasn't really sure on all the characteristics. I know I wanted it to have some blue in it since blue is my favorite color. I know I wanted it to be black stripes because that's one kind of tie I did not have in my collection, but I always wanted. And with Mentor's expertise, I think we came out with a really, really great product that I'm very proud to introduce to you guys. So once again, this is my first product and you guys will not be disappointed. Let's take a look. Now the box that you see here is exactly the way that you're going to be receiving your tie when you order it. Like I've worn the tie before in a couple of my short videos on Instagram and YouTube shorts, but they didn't come in a package like this when I got them. So this is my first time actually seeing the same thing that you'll be seeing in the mail when you order yours. So first thing that you notice, it has the Aklasu logo on there and it says Refine Essentials, which is their tagline. And also right over here, it says Aklasu. So without further ado, let's open this box, man. I'm very, very excited for you guys to see what's in there. I've never been so nervous opening up a box on here. Let's take a look. All right, so the first thing that you greeted with it's a card that says Entro Tie. By the way, the name of the tie is the Entro Tie. Really cool man, it has my logo on there that says Chase and Ryder and also has the Classu logo at the bottom as well. And a special message on the back, but you can read it more when you get your own copy. Uh, something pretty cool that a Classu includes in all their packages is a score chocolate bar. It's really cool. Get that out of the way. And you also find a little booklet. This booklet goes over tie tips, like how to dimple your tie, how to take care of your tie, how long your tie should be, etc. This is not really something that I've ever really seen included in a package for a tie, but this is why a class is not like any other brand, you know what I mean? And as I was saying before, they also start making socks now, so you can see that on the back. And this is the canister for the tie. And this is the tie right here, man. This is something extremely special, man, and I really have no other word to really describe this. Once again, even though I've already had this and worn it a few times, but actually unboxing it 
brings uh, totally new experiences. Like I'm seeing it for the first time. It's just crazy. This is truly an incredible time, man. And this is something that I designed myself. Once again, I got a little bit of help. I knew that I wanted a tie with black stripes and we just worked it out. He asked me what my favorite color was, what colors do I like to wear. I wore a lot of gray and blue and gray is a good combination. And being that this tie is two-tone, you can definitely wear this with navy as well. This is a grenadine tie and you can take a look up close. Grenadine is a type of silk only found in Italy and the tie itself is also manufactured in Italy. So it's 70% silk and 30% wool. Now as far as the width, obviously the width is three and a half. That's basically all I wear. It's a very easy tie to wear because of the colors that we picked. So once again, this goes great with navy, goes great with brown, also goes really good with gray. So on the back here, it says a classo handmade in Italy. And at the bottom here, it says Chase and Ryder and Tro. So when you get this tie, you officially become part of the Entro gang. You can't say you put on the Entro gang without having this tie in your collection, man. This is really a beautiful tie, and I can't wait for you guys to start tagging me on Instagram whenever you put this tie on. So we've already spoken about the shoes, and this is the tie that I would recommend if your budget was $1,500. This tie retails for $90. Once again, this is handmade in Italy, 70% silk grenadine, 30% wool, and it's available for you to order right now. And once again, when you put this tie on, man, definitely tag me on Instagram. I wanna see it. I present to you the intro tie, and I couldn't be more proud, man. Let's talk about the suit. The suit that I would recommend is a full canvas suit from Spear and McKay in a medium gray shark skin fabric from VBC. And that suit retails for $598. Once again, this is incredible value when you're talking about a suit that's full canvas. So when you're talking about off the rack suits, most of them are going to come with a half canvas, which means that the canvas runs from the shoulder to above the pocket. But a full canvas suit, the canvas runs all the way from the from the shoulder to the bottom of the jacket. So when we're talking about very expensive suits, bespoke suits, so of course all those suits will be full canvas. So typically a full canvas suit is going to run you close to $1,000 or more. And in this case, it's coming just under $600. It's a medium gray suit, which is a very versatile color. And the fabric is coming from VBC, which is an Italian male that's been in the game for years and years and years. And the fabric in question from VBC is a Super 150 and it's 260 gram, which makes it an all year round suit. The style of the suit is a Neapolitan suit. The Neapolitan style of suit dates back to Italy and it's more of a relaxed look. So if you see all my suits that I wear, they're all Neapolitan. They have no shoulder padding. They have larger lapels. So if you wear a size 40, which is the average size, that's a four inch lapel. I wear a 45 for a custom suit or a 46 for the rack. This is a custom suit, so that's a 45. The lapels are around four and three eighths to four and a half. The jacket is a three roll two, which basically means it does have three buttons but for all intents and purposes, it's really a two button suit since the third button. Actually, you can't even really see it because it's hidden under the lapel. It has a curved breast pocket that the Italians call bacchetta and the jacket is also double vented. The pockets are jetted, which means that they have no flops. Now, as far as the trousers, they are high rise trousers with a single reverse pleat. So pretty much all the features that I like in my suits, that's what you're going to find in this suit. The only thing that you have to do now is add suspender buttons so that you can wear suspenders. And also I would cuff the trousers. Oh, before I forget also, the sleeves are unfinished, but they do come with the button. So that way when you get measured at your tailor to shorten the sleeves to your specification so that you can have working buttonholes on the sleeves. So that is an excellent value when we're talking about a suit for $600. Neapolitan style, trousers are high rise with a single reverse pleat. The sleeves are unfinished so that you can have working buttonholes. Really can't go wrong with that suit. Typically you get these kind of features if you're doing a custom suit. Now this suit did come out a couple weeks ago, but they still have a ton of sizes left. So if I were you, I would not hesitate to jump on this as soon as possible. I will include a link in the description. Now let's talk about shirts. The shirt that I would recommend is an end-to-end -end shirt from Spain McKay that retails at $68. And this is an incredible value for what you're getting. The first thing is the material. This is 100% cotton from an Italian mill called Tessitura Monte. The cuff and the collar is unfused. 
And speaking of cuff, it's a one button rounded cuff. The collar that it comes in is the C13 collar. So typically you don't find this kind of collars off the rack. The length of the collar points are three and five eighths. You'd be lucky if you find an off the rack shirt for most makers where the collar points measure more than three inches, which means that the collar points will easily be hidden under your jacket's lapel, which is the way that I always wear my shirts. It has a split yoke in the back, but it doesn't have any darts or pleats. And also the shirt comes with mother or pearl buttons and that's $68. Now as far as the color of the shirts, they have them in white, they have them in a light blue, and they also have them in a light pink. I like all three of them, but depending on what the situation is, if you're going to a wedding, I'd say you get the white, but if you just wanna rock a really nice outfit, then you can get the light blue or the light pink. The light blue is going to be more common. The light pink, it might not go with every complexion, but it's a really nice touch as well. That's one part of my game that I need to step up. 90% of the time I'm wearing light blue shirts, which I'm more than happy doing, but I wouldn't mind a couple light pink shirts. And I know that some of you are probably thinking, why do you always pick Spear and McKay? I mean, the value. Can you tell me anywhere else where you can follow full canvas suit in a VBC fabric for under $600? What about a shirt from an Italian mill with mother or pearl buttons, collar points that are three and five eighths? I mean, if you can find those things at other places where your budget is going to stay within that $1,500, definitely let me know in the comments, but I don't know of any other places that has this kind of quality at this price point. Hence the reason why I'm picking Spear and McKay for those products. The next thing I want to talk about is pocket square. So as I've always said, when it comes to pocket squares, you don't want them to match the tie, you want them to complement the tie. So in this case, being that the tie is all blue, uh, light blue and dark blue, what you need is a pocket square that has a little bit of blue in it. And you also wanna find complementary colors. That way, even though it only has to have really minor blue accents, you want other colors that really complement blue. So I picked a couple pocket squares from Shibumi. Those pocket squares retail at $55. I picked two of them. One of them is called a Senso G, which is a beautiful, beautiful pocket square. It has multiple colors in it, but there are some blues in the skyline and also the borders of that pocket square is blue. So depending on how you fold it, you can show some of the blue. Also has some yellow, has some orange, has some grain, really, really beautiful pocket square. So I chose that one to really pair with the tie and the suit. And the second one that I pick is a pistachio color, so mostly grain, but it does have some blue accents, has some blue birds on there. Both pocket squares are 16 by 16, which is big enough for you to fold it nicely and you don't have to worry about it sliding into your pocket because it's too small. Definitely check out the website. You don't have to pick those if you don't want to, but just make sure you pick something that has some blue accent, but definitely you don't want something that's mostly blue. For the suspenders, I recommend the same one that I did before for the prior two videos. If it's not broke, why fix it? Those suspenders are perfect. They're from Cheap Neckwear and they retail for $58. Cheap Neckwear is a store out of New York City. The great thing about it, all the suspenders are custom made. So you can select the color you want. You can select the color that you want the kip to be. The kip is the leather part. I don't get too deep into that part as far as matching it with my shoes. It's not like belts where they're visible. For example, just because you're wearing brown shoes doesn't mean that the kip has to be brown. It could be black. It's not one of those accessories like your watch strap or belt that people are going to see. And last but not least, socks. Your socks are very important, man, because one, I recommend over the calf socks. That way when your legs are crossed, you don't have to worry about your leg hair showing, pet peeve. And number two, just a cleaner look. But when it comes to over the calf socks, you definitely want something that's not going to be sliding down your legs. That could be extremely annoying. And that's why I recommend a class suit once again, and their socks cost $35. The first type that I would recommend would be a blue and black chevron socks. I'm not a big fan of pattern socks, but chevron is a very subtle pattern, which is tastefully done. And you can also get the same pair in house tooth. And the second one that I would recommend since the suit is medium gray, if you're looking for socks that more matches that color, then I would do the gray and black, also in chevron or houndstooth. I happen to have a blue and black chevron here. Very subtle pattern like I was saying before. And these socks are very thin and extremely durable. I have a bunch of them. I have some in money green, burgundy, and you don't have to worry about them falling down. So that's pretty much it, man. The shoes are from Yearn Shoemaker. They're 480 plus $100 for the last day shoe trees, which brings it up to 580. The suit is from Spear and McKay. Comes in at $586, full canvas suit. The tie, of course, is from yours truly. And a class suit, the ancho tie. 
It retails for $90, and that's a really great price too because ties are one of those things that are really, really expensive. Most of the ties that I wear, when we're talking about Shibumi, E.G. Capelli, those ties are around 125 to 150. And also you'll be supporting your boy, you know what I mean? <laughs> the shirt is also from Spie and McKay. It retails at $68. The pocket square is from Shibumi, and that retails at $55. I give you a couple options. The socks, also from Maklasu, retail for $35. Also give you a couple options there. And the suspenders are $58 from Chip Neckwear. So if you're keeping count at home, the total is $1,484. So not only did we stay within budget, $16 to spare, I'm really good at this, man. And now, as I was saying, this is exactly what I recommended to the guy earlier. But if you are interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, I will be making an announcement soon. But in the meantime, I'm gonna put my email address right here so you can shoot me an email. Of course, I can't leave without doing a wrist check. Today, I'm wearing my 1966 Seiko Lord Marvel. Now, if you're familiar, you know this is my favorite watch. And since today was a very special occasion, this is why I pulled this watch out. Today's shoes are the TLB Artista in a dog brown museum calf that I unboxed a couple weeks ago. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it somewhere up here. I'll also include it in the description. So this was a very special video, man. I hope that all of you run out and get yourself the intro tie. I told Mensa that you guys might break the website. Some of you have been asking me when I premiered it on Instagram, like when is it coming out? So I'm very happy to announce that it's finally out. So you can go to the website right now and get yours. Click the link in my description. And um, yeah, man, this is how you can look your best with a budget of $1,500. So hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe or everybody gonna think that you're a hater. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.